House by the Railroad fascinated the public and critics when it was first shown in 1925, and if it is now one of Hopper's most famous paintings. House by the Railroad is very much a portrait of a house. And I think the loneliness of the house is what really comes through in the painting. You would think that there would be some kind of activity, perhaps, on this bright sunny day, and yet there is this stillness that pervades the canvas. Some people have speculated that the railroad tracks in front of the house imply movement, and of course there is no train, but the implication of movement in those tracks makes you all the more aware of the absolute lack of movement in this picture. House by the Railroad is the first painting that was acquired by the Museum of Modern Art in 1930. It's a painting that now we think of as melancholy. Hopper himself insisted that there was nothing emotionally expressive about his paintings and that they were, in fact, just factual. But when we look at this picture today, there's so much feeling. I think it's really that feeling and not the objectivity that makes Hopper so much more of an enduring artist than so many of his peers. Edward Hopper was born in Nyack, New York in 1882. His work is admired around the world and has influenced generations of visual artists. But apart from that, Hopper's life was quite unremarkable. As a young man, Hopper studied art and illustration, and during the early years of his career, he supported himself as a commercial illustrator. Hopper is seen here in 1965 in his New York City studio, which he occupied from 1913 until his death in 1967. Hopper and his wife, Josephine, who was also an artist in her own right, lived a quiet life and kept out of the spotlight. The couple divided their time between New York and their cottage and studio on Cape Cod. Hopper was reticent about his life and work. We know him mostly through his paintings.